free of mineral oil, suffering coronavirus, Donald Trump. Ooh, child, you ain't getting my coins. You are not getting my coins. I don't, I don't really get the hype. I think it's a basic plan of bomb. Please don't throw your rocks at me. All right, all right, all right. You guys have been asking for this one since I did the Good Skin Days review. And today we have the Den I Met You K Beauty review. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, you guys, this is officially my fourth K Beauty brand. Ooh, we are on a streak, y'all. We we getting there. We getting there. This is a sister brand. So if you haven't watched my Good Skin Days review, I'm gonna link it up here. It's the sister brand to the Then I Met You brand. I'm gonna be reviewing today. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Catch up and come back and watch this video, or watch this video and then go watch that one. I'm not judging. You know, I'm not gonna tell you what you do. I ain't your mama, okay? As long as you're watching my videos, that's all I care about. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm April. I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in science-based skincare, hit that like button for me, subscribe to this channel down below, join the family. We're here every week talking about skincare. And I know you guys love skincare. That's why you're here. You're here because you love skincare. So join the family. Why don't you join us on this fun ride? Okay, so then I met you. Then I met you. Isn't it like romantic? It takes you back to like a romantic era. It transports you to like Beethoven symphony. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so this brand is the first brand that Charlotte Show found for Circle Glam. This was her first personal brand, actually. This brand is very Hiram approved. If you watch Hiram's skincare routine here on YouTube, he loves the cleansing balm, which we're going to talk about shortly. He raves about it, talks about it on TikTok, on YouTube. I know. We're going to talk about it today and many other products from the brand. So let's get into it. So the first product we're gonna talk about today is the Living Cleansing Balm. Like I mentioned, this one is retailing for $38. Now this product is free of everything that you can be free of. Free of mineral oil, tallets, sulfates, suffering, coronavirus, Donald Trump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's free of everything that you can imagine, which I'm guessing that's why Hiram loves it because he is not a fan of the extraness, he's not a fan of fragrance or mineral oil and all that. He's not a fan of it. However, being a chemist, I have my own strong opinions based on science and things that I just feel like are vilified for no reason. But let's just save that for another day. Honestly, I really want to get this product. But that price tag of $38, just every time I look at it, I just just always pulls me back. I don't want to proceed and continue the checkout process just because I feel like, why am I paying $40 for a bomb? You only get 3.1 ounce of it. The one that I use from Pharmacy Beauty is just about the same thing and it's a little bit cheaper. So it's just the only thing that has stopped me from getting this product. I'm not going to lie. Like I could have gotten it like yesterday, but I'm just like, why? Why 40 bucks? Like why? But let's dive into the ingredients. That's why you're here, bitch. The highlighted ingredients here is sea berry, sea burkton oil, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, which we love. The sea burkton oil here is rich in fatty acids like stearic acid, oleic acid, linoleic acid, and omega-6 acids. So the bright orange color that this product is really popular for is due to its content of lycopene. Lycopene is also actually found in tomato, which is really, really good for our skin. We already know vitamin E is a great antioxidant and reduces premature aging. Grape seed is also a great antioxidant as well. Other than that, this product just contains a bunch of waxes, which makes sense because it's a cleansing balm. It's got to maintain that solid form even at room temperature so it has a lot of waxes that keep it in that structure but sad to say i don't really get the hype like i don't i don't really get the hype i'm still trying to figure out why i think it's a basic cleansing balm please don't throw your rocks at me please just don't 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 i, I know i just i I can't, I can't get with the hype. I'm sorry, let's move on. So the next product here is their Soothing Cleansing Gel. This one's retailing for $36. It's at a pH of six, which is okay because it's a cleanser. We can ignore that the pH is a little over the skin pH. So the star ingredient, not my words, it's Charlotte's words. The star ingredient here is the fermented rice water, which helps to remove impurities. It also has a blend of PHAs and sodium hyaluronate to help keep the skin hydrated and not feeling overly stripped. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really seen this rice ferment filtrate water before, but I'm pretty sure from my discussion with the chemist at work, I remember her telling me that filtrates are like a byproduct of like a distillation. So they're not very strong, but don't quote me. I just haven't seen it before. But if the 
Tate's great for taking out impurities and as a starting ingredient, we'll go with that. Other surfactants they have here is the sodium sulfur succinate. This surfactant does have sulfates. If your skin doesn't like sulfates, my hair doesn't like sulfates, so I don't do sulfates in my hair. But if your skin does not like sulfates, I would stay away from this cleanser. It does have a lot of sulfate surfactant besides the rice filtrate as well as coconut surfactants as well. Oh, it also has a centella that's great for inflammation and redness like we saw with other K-Beauty products. So just keep that in mind. It also has willow bark. So if you have oily skin, willow bark is a plant derived form of salicylic acid as well as PHAs, gluconolactone, which is an AHA exfoliating acid. I think it's a pretty good cleanser. Honestly, I will give this a thumbs up. I think you get a good bang for your buck with this cleanser. Yes, A+. Plus. Third product here is their toner. This one is recently for $32. It has a pH of four. This is where I was just like, come on, Charlotte. <laughs> Why does it have a pH of 4? Our skin pH is between 4.5 to 5.5, actually closer to that 5.5 mark. Why is it toner at a 4? A toner is supposed to restore your skin pH back to the original skin pH, so it's kind of defeating the purpose of a toner, so I'm already tending towards a thumbs down for this product. Another red flag I saw is it has a 1% blend of AHAs, glycolic, and lactic acid. Those are the two strongest AHAs, glycolic and lactic. I wish they had a blend of glycolic and maybe mandelic for people of color our skin does not like any harsh irritants and having a blend like this and one percent in the skincare industry is pretty high it's pretty pretty high yeah i didn't like this toner at all it also has gluconolactone which is a more milder aha but just because it has those other two ahas i feel like it's already a lot and can be very overwhelming so i'm already thumbsing this product down it has squalene great emollient but in the toner, mm, squalene, I don't really care for. Sodium hyaluronate and eh, shea butter. I mean, it's a great product. I just wish that it didn't have that much actives. Like I get the active craze. I love actives, don't get me wrong. I just feel like it's a little too much. Plus the pH is not even gonna balance our skin. So what are we doing here? I give this a hard thumbs down, but it is what it is. All right, second to last product here is an essence. Now, I personally don't care for essence. Like I just, I don't care. I don't just care for essence. Honestly, if you use an essence and you feel like you have any experience with an essence or just just tell me down below in the comments why you love using an essence. Because I really want to know. I feel like it's the same with a serum. I don't see why there's something called an essence when there's a serum exists. I don't get it. So yeah, if you use an essence, tell me why you use an essence because I, I want to be educated, okay? But well, we're going to talk about this essence just for the purpose of this video. All right, so this essence is coming in at a price point of a whopping $50. Ooh, child, you ain't getting my coins. You are not getting my coins on this one. It has a pH of 5, which is great for our skin pH. Some of the actives in this one are niacinamide, polyglutamic acid, which is actually a humectant. It's not an AHA, it's a humectant. It helps to hydrate the skin. It has aloe. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of hydrating allantoin. All right, I think this is what an essence is. I could be wrong. Correct me in the comments below, but I think this is meant to be hydrating, restore hydration to your skin, and just give you like extra hydration. That's what it seems like it's doing here. But yeah, I give this product a thumbs up. I'm not spending $50 on it though. At $25, you can have some of my coins, but not at $50. Yeah, let's move on. Last product here is their Calming Gel Cream, which is not a moisturizer, but it is a moisturizer. Yeah, I, I couldn't really figure out what this one was, but it's for $42. It is suited for people of oily skin because when I read the description, it said if you have dry skin to cocktail this uh, gel with your moisturizer, moisturizer that you're currently using but if you have oily skin just to use this gel as is as your moisturizer so it looks like it's more for people with oily skin some of the actives here are niacinamide we have two products with niacinamide which is okay right we're not getting overwhelmed here so that's fine. We have some ceramides, which are great for restoring the skin barrier. We have sodium hyaluronate, which is always a great humectant. Now with this one, we have an ingredient called midacasosoid. I hope I'm saying that right, but this is a compound of centella, which centella is great for calming the skin, reducing redness, and aiding in wound healing. This product is gonna get a thumbs down from me, unfortunately. I'm not impressed with it. I just feel like it's mediocre. Honestly, for $42, the Inculus, the Ordinary, oh, Cool's RX has really good 
moisturizers uh yeah for this price range absolutely not you're better off getting a moisturizer from a different k beauty brand but yeah that's it for this review i can't believe i finally reviewed this brand i've been wanting to look into their product i love the aesthetics of the brand very pretty they're very environmentally conscious as well so yeah overall i think it's a decent brand they are still up and coming i'll give them a 70 percent <laughs> i think it's pretty good that's pretty fair this is definitely more on the high-end scale of skincare products it's definitely not for a beginner on a budget in quarantine <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, be sure to leave them down below. Tell me what you think about this brand or any other K-Beauty brands you might want me to review. If you have any questions about anything, definitely leave them down below. I love talking about skincare with you guys, so don't forget to do that and subscribe, join the family, so you don't miss out on my future posts. Make sure to turn on your post notifications as well so you get notified right when I post a new video. So that way you're really part of the squad. You know, we're, we really, we're really vibing at that point. You get me? You feel me? <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.